Ben and I have decided to come down to a nice secluded area of this amazing castle to discuss one game that should be seen by all eyes, and that game is Tembo, the Badass Elephant. You've been wanting to say that title for like weeks now. <laughs> As much as I want to like this character, he's a very cool looking character too. He looks like Rambo. Yeah, well that's Tembo, Rambo. Oh my God, it just, it, you, <laughs> now, right now. It, it just, I got it, I figured it out. <laughs> Unfortunately, unlike Rambo, I don't know if Tembo's quite as badass as his name implies. He's got some pretty cool moves. He can charge, he can like smash through big barriers and you and do a lot cars, of that. Well, that sounds- Crush everything in front of him. Okay, it sounds badass, but he also falls all the time. Well, yeah, because he's an elephant. That's not badass. I mean, it depends on what you're trying to fall through. If you're trying to fall he through- He falls into bottomless pits. Pops up into the face! <laughs> no, he doesn't do that. <laughs> he falls into like thin air all the time, yeah. which I have a bit of a problem with. The control here is not as good as I wanted it to be. That was That's my main gripe with the game, is the fact that the control in a platformer especially needs to be tight. It has to be tight. <laughs> It was so frustrating sometimes it's really when I'm trying to put a combo together and I'm trying to attack a lot of guys and crush things, even though it really doesn't matter if you combo them or whatever, you're not getting any more points. It's just like, I want to look badass when I'm doing this and I wasn't really getting that feel a lot It of the feels time. overly sensitive. Like sometimes you'll just jump it's in the like air. Someone's a yeah, no, you'll jump in the air. I, that's nice. That Thanks. felt really nice. But you, know, you just jump in the air and you just kind of want to, you know, go down directly straight down, but, you're going, the face. but you go at an angle and you're off in the middle of a bottomless pit again. So I, I found a lot of problems with the control. Also, I think the game sets itself up, at least initially, the first couple levels, seem like it's gonna be a Sonic the Hedgehog kind of game. It's very fast. You're kind of charging through these buildings. Yeah. You're smashing, smashing enemies, enemies. Tanks. And, and it has that kind of feverish, just forward momentum. You don't really even control it half the time because you're bouncing off something into the background. Button, you're go. smashing Whoa. into things and it's really cool. And you're like, I'm totally on board. This is totally Sonic the Hedgehog. After like the second level, it's it all slows down. Literally, that's it. The second level in, you're just like, wait, what? What happened? Tembo I, hits I, the badass brakes. I gotta and collect all the peanuts because yeah. I'm gonna need all the peanut butter because you go die gets, a lot. It gets really hard and you have to, to slow everything down. You have to go a lot more methodical when you're making these jumps because you don't know what's gonna be on the other side of it. The enemies start getting really hard with their shots. And another problem here is that the levels are really long. My you know, third it, level in, I was. it took me 16 minutes to beat it. I was like, 16 minutes? That's too to long for a platform that's game. Long. These are supposed to be short, punchy levels, especially because you have to replay them over and over again to unlock more levels. I really just lost steam playing this game. I just started running out of interest yeah. because it, a lot of it was repetitive. And again, this control just wasn't as spot on as it should be. And it's a shame because I think this is a beautiful game. I mean, the graphics are spectacular. It's really well drawn. The little adjectives that pop up when you're doing things, like. It's super cute. I mean, it's very cool and it's stylish. It's badass. It's not cute. No, that's the thing. It's, it's badass because it's so hard and it drives you crazy, but it's actually a really cute, colorful, badass. Pep peppy, all right, and badass looking video game. We have to give it some scores, Jose. What are you going to give it? I'm giving Timbo the badass elephant a 6.5 out of 10. I'm giving it a decidedly less badass 6 out of 10.